tobacco. And uh, I know it's your Saturday, and you, like I said, you don't want to be here, but uh, you guys come to New Christian College, you know the contract, and you know it's against the rules, against the team rules, and against the college rules. So mm -hmm. today we have a guest speaker that's going to come in and talk to you about chewing tobacco and the effects of, of using it. My life be like... Chewing tobacco, how important it is to stay away from. We are in San Diego. You guys aren't even paying attention to me right now, but I'm telling you, this is a very serious topic. I mean, one of our very own, Tony Gwynn, just died from this. And here you guys are getting caught up for the fifth time here at San Diego Christian. And uh, I'm here to help you guys shine some light on this topic. Are you guys even paying attention? Do you guys even know what this is about? Well, Mr. Angulo, or Dr. Angulo, or I don't know what your name is, um, do you have any personal experience with it? Because if not, your facts, information, would really matter to me. Do I have personal experience with this? Yeah, I'm constantly in the books studying this stuff. Have I personally done this? No, I haven't, so I can't relate to you guys. Excuse me, sir, in the back, you're acting like I'm not even here. I'm not even doing anything. I'm here for you guys to help you guys out. What do you have to say about this? Me? I'm only here to get the time done so I can get up to a dip in. And as far as I'm concerned, I know more about this topic than you do. Preach. I've dipped for six years and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I understand all the signs, the precancer, stuff like leukoplakia that can happen at any point. Anytime your body decides to reject it, it'll start building up bad cancer cells in your mouth. And yeah, there's a possibility of removal of the jaw. Guess what? Esophagus, cancer, heart attacks. But at the same time, for baseball, the perks are unreal. Boosts your heart rate by 25%, pumps your adrenaline. It gets you going for the game. You end up having quicker reflexes. And, it, and it's also something that keeps you busy when it's boring. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a lifestyle, and it goes hand in hand with baseball. And unless you have any personal knowledge, which guess what? My Instagram has more information than you do. I don't think I need to listen to anything you have to say. Because chewing is a lifestyle, it's not something that I just, I don't know, picked up for fun. Miss Cooper, are they always acting like this? I mean, they don't even give me the time of day. Do they understand that this could harm their health? They could eventually die from this? I mean, they're always, they're here, it's their fifth uh, Saturday here, and they still haven't changed their behavior. Um, do you guys realize how harmful chewing tobacco can be? Instagram. I guess I'm aware. Yeah? Do you plan on changing any of your habits at all? No. Mama never raised no quitter. Dips all and die. How old were you guys when you started dipping? Uh, 15. Never was back. What about you? 13. 13. Statistically, 2 in 100 middle schoolers, that's when they start um, using chewing tobacco, and 6 out of every high school, 100 high school students um, start as well. But overall, because you guys do play baseball, 11% of uh, high school baseball boys admit to starting chewing tobacco at that age. That's fun. I think the statistics are stupid because by the end of my freshman year, I had every single person on the entire team dip. It was something I wanted to do so that I didn't go down in flames. If I got in trouble for it, I could say the entire team did it. So it is what it is. You're right, guys. I don't have any personal experience with this, but what I can say is if you guys keep dipping during your adolescence, it'll lead to so many forms of cancer. And, and you guys obviously want to make it to the big leagues. You guys want to do big things in your life. And this is something that's going to be constant in your life. It could ultimately destroy your career if you guys come down with some kind of disease, some kind of jaw cancer, esophagus cancer. And I don't want to see that for you guys. So I hope that this time, uh, our class time, 
has encouraged you guys to stop. I know you guys are so informed on this topic. You know what the benefits are. You know what the downfalls are. And so I would ask you guys to take that in consideration. Like, you know, ultimately stop. Ms. Cooper, thank you for all your help. And uh, hopefully we don't have to see you guys again in here. Uh, you guys have a great Saturday. Go win a couple games. And hopefully I'll never see you again.